Hey, this is a tutorial here for the Beatles for no one. Um, there's a cover up on my channel if you want to see the way I played that. And uh, this should be pretty easy. It's it's pretty straightforward. So, uh, But it does take a lot of practice to get through this song, I think, because I've been working on it for a while. Um, anyway, um, the first chord, uh, I'm going to go through the, the verse chords and the I guess the chorus chords is what they are. Um, and that's all there is in the entire song. There's no different chords than those. So the uh, first chord in the first verse is a C, and that's an easy chord. That's just your ring finger on the first string of the third fret. And then an E minor, uh, which is your index finger on the first string of the second fret, your middle finger on the second string of the third fret, and your uh, ring finger on the third string of the fourth fret probably the hardest chord in the song. And then an A minor, which is your index finger on the fourth string of the second fret. And back to a C. Then to an F or an F chord, which is your index finger on the fourth string of the second fret and your uh, I'm sorry, your middle finger on the fourth string of the uh, second fret fourth string of the second fret and your index finger on the second string of the first fret. And I lied, the hardest card chord in this is the B flat, which is you're going to bar the bottom two strings there, first and second strings on the first fret, and then your middle finger goes on the third string of the second fret, and your ring finger goes on the fourth string of the third fret. And then it goes back to C. So, the way I play these, <coughs> move this up here, uh, if you listen, I, I just, to kind of keep to the way the song is played on the album, or the rhythm on that at least, um, I pluck the bottom string of each chord and then I do three down strums, so it's... Plucking the bottom string with my index finger. Sorry. That's it. So that that is the way I play the verse chords in this song, and um, the only change to that is there's a little bridge between, uh, which is just the same chords, um, and you can kind of play those any way you want. I, I decided to do like a, a strumming instrumental, so it was. Some other ways that I've looked and kind of tried to play is just plucking the strings. So you can just pluck the bottom three strings of each chord. Um, so with that, got kind of a little confusing and hard to do. So I just kind of gave that up. But uh, you can certainly try that. It sounds pretty cool. Um, so that was that's just for the um, middle part that has no words to it. Uh, the other part of the song is the um, in her, in her mind or I'm sorry in her eyes you see nothing, and those chords there's, there's uh, three chords to know there. It starts with the D minor, which is your index finger on the second string of the first fret, and your middle finger on the third string of the second fret, and your uh, ring finger on the fourth string of the second fret and that goes to an A7 which is your index finger on the third string of the first fret back to a D minor back to an A7 D minor A7 D minor A7 D minor and then it goes to a G sus4 and that is a G chord, and then your pinky on the on the string right below on the third fret. So your pinky goes on the first string of the um, third fret. Your your index finger goes on the third string. I'm sorry, index finger goes on the third string of the second fret. Your middle finger goes on the first string of the second fret. Your 
ring finger goes on the second string of the third fret. That's a G chord. And then the sus4 is just adding your pinky right below that. Um, another way to play it, this is the way I actually play it, is to just bar those bottom two um, strings with your ring finger. And then the last chord is a G, and the reason I like to play the G sus4 like that is because you can go and then just lift your finger up. So, uh, I hope that is clear. So, again, the way I play, I do play all these chords just with a straight top to bottom finger picking. Um, and that is just my thumb on the top string, my index finger on the third string, my ring finger, sorry, my middle finger on the, let's start over, my thumb on the, on the fourth string, the, the G string, uh, my index finger on the third string, my middle finger on the second string, and my ring finger on the, that first string there. So it's... D minor, it's all strummed, and then a strum of a G sus, sus4, and one strum of the G. Um, and that's it, that's the whole song. So if you know those chords and you know, know that pattern, then you should be able to play it. Uh, you can experiment and do it a whole bunch of different ways. You can, you know, just strum everything, just four, four times strum everything, whatever you like. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I put another link up uh, on this tutorial here to the uh, Beetle Ailey book, which is a really good uh, book for ukulele beetles. It's got pretty much every song. So, uh, And thanks for watching, and take care.